Happy New Year from the past, fellow time travelers! I'm Sporkinator, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time HD. In the last episode, we pretty much finished Ganon's castle, and now we're ready to take on the final boss, Ganondorf himself. Don't worry, Zelda. I'm here to help you. She looks worried. How come Sheik's Triforce didn't look all HD like that? Huh, oh well. At this point, the game would actually refill your health if you, if you were down by any, but as it turns out, I was not. The Triforce parts are resonating. They are combining into one again. The two Triforce parts that I could not capture on that day seven years ago. I didn't expect they would be hidden within you two. <laughs> and now, finally, all the Triforce parts have gathered here. These toys are too much for you. I command you to return them to me. Your mom, I can't help you. Because of the ways of darkness, I can't get close. I'm sorry, your mom. <laughs> oh man, it's not a laughing matter, but that name changes everything. Great King of Evil, Ganondorf. So what do? Oh, okay. Which sword do we have? I believe I am actually going to want the Master Sword for this, not Vigoron's sword. I mean, I'm sure both would work, but... Come on, this is the fight with Ganondorf, man. We gotta use the Master Sword. So it's kind of like playing tennis. You just want to hit the thing back and forth until he finally misses it and gets hit by it. Then you want to pull out your light arrows, not your hookshot, and shoot him with it. With the light arrows. And then we want to attack him mercilessly. Well, I guess that's all the hits I can get in for now. I might use the Power Crouch Stab later, we'll see. Of course, that would have been pointless to charge it, because now I'm using normal slashes. Okay, whatever. And I'm wearing the Goron tunic, is that bad? I should be wearing the green one, I really feel like I should. Oh well, I'll change later. Doesn't really matter. Yeah. Oh, come on, how long is this gonna go on for? Come on, Ganondorf, I have somewhere to be after I kill you. At the very least, I'm gonna use jump slashes for extra damage. I don't know. Gotta turn the camera around to be able to see. Ow. So I just lost one and a half hearts. That means it would be instant death in a three heart run without double defense power. It would, it would do three hearts of damage. So that's interesting. It's good to know that I just died twice. If this had been a three heart run. Okay, but seriously, can I please stop missing the tennis ball? That would be great. Because it's not, it's no ordinary tennis ball. It's infused with power or something. Yeah, power, because Ganondorf has the Triforce of Power. That's, that's logical. All right, once again, we want to hit him with a light arrow and attack the heck out of him. I'm done playing games. I just want him dead. Die, Ganondorf, die. <laughs> All right, here we go again. When he does this attack, he's vulnerable to light arrows. Another idea is to charge a spin attack and counter his attack. So I don't know if I'll have the chance to see him do that attack again. But if he does, I'll be sure to counter it with a spin attack just to show how that works. So Ganondorf, do me a favor and do the exact same attack again. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You're making this Let's Play a good one. So yeah, you either shoot him with light arrow or counter with spin attack. Either way will work. 
of course, you have to shoot him with lighter either way, so it's kind of like the first way is a waste of magic, maybe. But, uh-oh, it looks like Ganondorf is down. The great evil King Ganondorf beaten by this kid? Your mom! Wow. That looked like it hurt. A lot. Oh sweet! Zelda's been freed! All is good now. Ganondorf, pitiful man. Without a strong, righteous mind, he could not control the power of the gods, and... Your mom, listen to me. This tower will collapse soon. With his last breath, Ganondorf is trying to crush us in the ruins of the tower. We need to hurry and escape. Please, follow me. Very well, princess. As you wish. Here we go, folks. We have a three-minute time limit, and we need to escape this place. The game is lacking, running in slow motion, and I hope the same thing applies to the timer, otherwise we might have a bad time. Nah, probably not, we'll probably be okay. But it turns out I'm a whole lot faster than Princess Zelda, so I finally get to the end here and I gotta wait for her with my shield up so I don't get hit by the falling boulders, holy crap. Hurry up, Princess. You're the one telling me to hurry and escape, but you can't even keep up, come on now. I know you're a princess, but I expected more out of someone so strong. After all, you are able to open these bars, which I can't seem to do. So that's impressive, right? That means you're strong? With magic or something? I don't even know. I wonder if the Goron Tunic will reduce damage taken from the falling flaming boulders. Probably not, but that would be nice. Oh well. If I get lucky, I won't get hit by any of them. Follow the princess, follow the princess. Well, she was faster than me that time. I don't know how this works. Holy crap. Are we gonna make it? I'm going as fast as I can, so I assume yes. Well, she, she got all worried about me while I was in midair there. How thoughtful, but when she does that, she stops, and I don't like that. Shoot, man. Uh-oh, I think crap's about to hit the fan here. I'm gonna take this opportunity to switch back to the green tunic because it's my favorite. It's kind of like the default. It makes sense to be wearing this tunic at the end of the game, to me anyway. And I'm gonna use Bigger on Sword because we've got enemies coming up that are most easily defeated with Bigger on Sword, so we're gonna do that. Yep, we've got Stalfos. I didn't even mean to do a spin attack. I somehow did it by accident. They got- they managed to hit me? I'm mad. I'm mad, man. That's not even supposed to happen. Oh well, it's all good. Thank you, your mom! Now let's hurry! So this is the part where Zelda gives me hearts and refills my health. And then we are on our way. Now, fun fact! I have not showed off what Nehru's love actually does. And to me, this is the perfect time to use it. Because in this part of the game, we can actually use it to protect ourselves from falling rocks, so I can just run through with reckless abandon, which should be pretty handy. See how it goes. We're basically invincible right now. We won't take any damage if we're hit by anything. And Zelda also will not slow down while she's running through the castle. So that's always nice. However, I am still going to do my best to dodge the rocks and not actually get hit by them, just to see if I can pull it off. Alright, here we go. Careful. Oh, I got hit. Whatever. I don't even care. 
But yeah, that's what Nehru's Love does. It makes you invincible and completely unable to take any damage. And your character still seems to express pain, but I don't know. It's strange. Oh no, a redead. I forgot about this guy. No, I didn't mean to talk to you. I'm trying to roll away. <laughs> oh man. What I usually do is I grab the redead with my hook shot, which stuns it and allows me to get past it very, very easily. Uh oh. Nehru's Love is wearing off. Now I have to dodge for real. Ha ha ha! Perfect! Well guys, we made it out of the tower. What a relief. And what's funny is if you look at the way this tower collapses, it's very basic. But keep in mind, this is a game from 1998 or 1999, somewhere in there. The old days, I kid you not. Or was it 1994? Because I think that was the Super Mario 64 launch, and I think that was a launch title for the N64. Yeah, yeah, Ocarina of Time must have come later though, because I heard it, it underwent like a complete rewrite at some point, because Shigeru Miyamoto or whoever was in charge of the project really wanted to get it right before releasing, so... I think this game, they spent like extra extra time on this game developing it back in the day. Yeah, that's just, uh, I guess a few fun facts about Ocarina of Time. Well, so I beat Ganondorf, is this over or what? It's over! It's finally over! Oh good, thanks for answering my question, Zelda. I'm so relieved to know that it's over. Your mom. I'm sorry I couldn't help you in the battle before. It's okay, Navi. Wait, what? That was ominous. I don't like the sound of this. So apparently, this battle is not over. And it continues next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time HD. I'm Sporkinator. Thank you for watching. And may we meet again in the future. Goodbye for now.